Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 2 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems from 2.1 to 2.5, exercises 2.1 and 2.2, examples 1 to 8 and also the question number 1 from exercise 2.3. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2 triangle says, in figure 2.35, triangle ODC is similar to triangle OBA, angle BOC is equal to 125 degrees, angle CDO is equal to 70 degrees, find angle DOC, angle DCO and angle OAB. So here they have given us the two triangles ODC is similar to triangle OBA and they have given us the angles BOC is equal to 125 degrees, angle CDO is equal to 70 degrees and now we have to find angle DOC. We have to find this angle DOC, DCO and angle OAB. Okay, so we have to find out these three angles from the triangle ODC and OBA. So let us write down what is given first. They have given us triangle ODC is similar to triangle OBA. And they have given us angle BOC is equal to 125 degrees and angle CDO is equal to 70 degrees. So now we have to find out angle DOC, angle DCO and angle OAB. So if you observe this line DB, you can notice that it is a straight line and a ray is passing through this line that is OC and the angle of this ray is 125 degrees. Okay, so we have a straight line db and oc is a ray passing through this line at an angle of 125 degrees okay any straight line has an total angle equal to 180 degrees so we can find out this angle doc by subtracting 180 by 125 so that will be equal to 55 degrees okay so this is by the by property linear pair of angles so write down since BD is a straight line and OC is a ray on it. So therefore we can say that angle this angle DOC plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree. Angle DOC plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees by linear pair by linear pair property. Again, this property you have learnt in your ninth class. So angle DOC value we don't know that we have to find out plus angle BOC is given which is equal to 125 degrees and that is equal to 180 degrees. So sending this 125 to right hand side so we will get angle DOC is equal to 180 minus 125 so angle DOC is equal to 55 degrees. So we have found out the first angle that is DOC. Now if you observe in triangle DOC we know two angles that is angle CDO given that is 70 degrees and DOC we found out that is equal to 55 degrees. Now let us find out the angle DCO by applying angle sum property of a triangle. So write down in triangle DOC angle CDO plus angle DOC plus angle DC CO is equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of a triangle. So value of CDO, angle CDO is 70 degrees, angle DOC is 55 degrees plus angle DCO we have to find out and that is equal to 180 degrees. The 70 plus 55 is 125 plus angle DCO is equal to 180. Now sending this 125 to right hand side we will get angle DOC is equal to 180 minus 125 that is nothing but angle DCO is equal to 55 degrees. So again angle C is also equal to 55 degrees. DOC is also equal to 55 degrees. So now we have to find, find out the angle OAB. So to find angle OAB, since in the question they have given us the triangle ODC is similar to triangle OBA. If the two triangles are similar, by the similarity criteria, the corresponding angles of the two triangles will also be similar. So we can say that angle DCO is equal to angle OAB 
and angle CDO is equal to angle OBA. So therefore, so write down given triangle ODC is similar to triangle OBA. So therefore, angle CDO will be equal to angle OBA and angle DCO will be equal to angle OAB. So since angle CDO is equal to 70 degrees, so angle OBA will also be equal to 70 degrees and angle DCO is equal to 55 degrees. So angle OAB is also equal to 55 degrees. So therefore, what is the angle OAB? Angle OAB is equal to 55 degrees. So we have found out all the three angles which they have asked in the question. So this is how we solve this problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 3 from exercise 2.3, chapter 2, triangle. So till then, do like my video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math.